So thank you for taking time to, to chat chat about this film. I That's guess right. my, uh, my my first question um, would be, you know, how did you hear about the film? I know that you and Giles worked together previously on the day. You know, was that how you you heard about the project? That is exactly how I heard about the project. I was doing actually just came around very quickly. I was doing something else at the time. Giles called and said, "Sir, I'd like you to play this part. Are you around for?" I think I might probably filmed maybe five days and uh it, for me it was very much in and then out but yes i've known giles for years we did a film called a dare together in bulgaria maybe maybe like four 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 years ago now it's quite a long time ago but no giles is any chance i get to be able to work with mr giles alderson i will uh, i'll take the bells on yeah and what was it about the the script that appealed to you well with this one it, i obviously i got I think I'd agreed before I'd read. That's mm -hmm. how much I enjoyed were working with uh, with Giles. But he sent me, I think he sent me the book first. I got through as much of the book as I could in the time I had, because I think it was that was maybe maybe a four day turnaround between kind of deciding to do it and then coming on set and and filming. But uh, I've actually kind of kind of enjoying it as much as anybody else because I I haven't seen it all yet either. So I'm quite. Uh, I'm going to be enjoying it with everybody else. <laughs> nice. I think one of the, the things that sort of stands out to me is that it's a very female-led film. And as much as there, there are male characters in it, they're almost a supporting role. So was that quite a, an interesting dynamic for you to, to be walking into? I just, oh, I've, I was a big fan of Emily's from beforehand of the things I'd seen her in. And I um, was a huge fan of Nina as well from her work back in the day with uh, Goodness Gracious Me and things like that. And actually, weirdly enough, we discovered uh, we had done a few episodes of EastEnders together back in, like, I mean, over 15 years ago. Uh, and I was like, I think me and you were actually in scenes together. But I think at the time I was, I think I was 18. Um, so that was nice. But no, it, it wasn't, it wasn't something that uh, I, it kind of worried me or anything like that. I just really enjoyed both of those two people and I was excited to be part of telling that story yeah and your character Ewan is somewhat of a mystery what was your was your take on him well Ewan yeah I mean Ewan is a, is a huge mystery as of basically the plot of the entire film here he is and then where has he gone um for me it was just kind of being able to build a some kind of backstory with Emily to kind of work out where they had been because I think you work out through the book there's a few more details than maybe we let on throughout the beginning of our movie without giving anything away. Um, but we just wanted to make it, uh, we wanted to make it uh, believable that she would go out of her way to um, make these huge decisions in her life to be able to be, be with this particular person. Um, and hopefully we have done that. I don't know yet, because I haven't seen it, but I hope so. <laughs> I mean, given, given the nature um, of of your character, you know, he is you know very involved with Emily Barrington's character. Uh, you know, they're sort of it, it, it's it's revealed quite early on that you know they they are lovers, and she is planning on leaving her partner partner for him. You know, yeah. so you, the, the bulk of your scenes are with her. How is she to work with as a scene partner? Yeah, she's an absolute delight. I mean, she's uh, a wonderful at her job, very very kind. Um, was we had some lovely lunches, and it was nice to be able to have the time to be able to actually talk about the story and the characters because more often than not now time is money and people like to move fast but Giles is uh, a man of of detail and he allows you to to take those those moments and try and build build the world together so yeah working with Emily was a, was a pleasure and you know, like I said you know you're playing lovers which means that the scenes that you're in together you know are quite are quite intimate you know, trying to skirt, there's no other way to say this, but you know, you you don't wear very much for much of the film. How as an actor do you sort of prepare for, prepare for that? Because I mean, it must be like really daunting to, you know. Lots and lots of subways, lots of McDonald's, plenty of that. Uh, no, I, I guess I do spend a lot of time without my clothes on in this, but we, you go through those scenes very delicately, make sure everybody feels comfortable with the situation they're in. And um, yeah, like any other scene, you're just trying to make it as believable and uh, engaging as um, 
even if you were like you know, fighting with swords or something like that. And I guess the fact that you've worked with Giles before, you know, you've got that, you've got that, you know, trust built up, you know, that he's not going to ask you to do anything that, you know, you're not necessarily comfortable with. Yeah. 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 Giles is, yeah, he's, he's never asked me to do anything that I'm not uncomfortable with. We've definitely, certainly with the first project we did together, it was a, it was a big adventure trying to film the film in the middle of winter in the Bulgarian mountains. So actually this, even though I didn't have any clothes on, in a nice warm room, it was actually quite a treat, really. Yeah, because I mean, the, the dare is, you know, and it's quite grimy and dirty as well, from what I remember, you know, it's like well, a little shack in, in the middle of these like snowy woods. So yeah, I guess uh, it was nice to be, you know, wheeled into some nice fancy, fancy place. Oh, it was the dream. What a dream that was. Yeah, it was warm. There were snacks everywhere. You can't really complain. It's a nice job to do. But I mean, it, it must have been quite tricky because this was sort of conceived and put together. I mean, the production company came together during the pandemic. So, mm -hmm. what, you know, how how was that experience? You know, had you done which other work during the pandemic at this point, or was this sort of like your first venture back into into the work? Uh, the pandemic was. I mean, I I locked down with everybody else for the first section of the pandemic, pretty much when the whole, pretty much when the whole world did that first mm -hmm. stint. Um, but then I was I was filming a show called State of Happiness in Norway, and the Norwegian uh, lockdown rules were slightly different to ours. Um, so I actually spent this kind of second bulk of lockdown in uh, Stavanger, Bergen, and Oslo, filming a show. Of, they call it Lickyland, uh, State of Happiness, kind of a uh, NRK BBC co-pro. Um, so I, which was amazing because it, it helped me remember that people did exist and we uh the world could still um work hopefully at some point um so i felt quite lucky in that aspect to be able to have um still being able to do the thing i kind of you know i love during that time but um yeah coming back on to anything i think anybody for any job being able to then spend time with people and look people in the eyes again yeah. is, is something it's like a, a soup for the soul isn't it you kind of forget that connection between two people is basically what we're made of and uh, if that's taken away from us it can make me quite sad and you've worked you know you've already traversed a lot of projects and different genres in your career you know are there any sort of bucket list projects that you you know you hope you're hanging out for any bucket list project oh my I mean there are there are, I mean there's numerous directors I'd love to look, work with there's other countries I'd love to work in um there's various books that I read and I'm like oh, I'd love this to be made into but no there's nothing in particular but it's it's always just exciting to pick up the script read it and relate to it I mean that's all you can kind of hope for hopefully there's something that kind of jumps off the page and you're like I, I think I can I think I can I can give something to this I can maybe hopefully do something that would be unique and exciting for people to watch you know yeah yeah uh, I mean for me I think my first sort of interaction with yourself was um in unreal yeah unreal nice times show. i mean again yeah. an, an, another very heavy you know heavily female um production as well as as well as mm -hmm. i mean uh, what was what was that experience like because you I think by the time you went in it was already you know an established you know it was already a, a couple of seasons in unreal oh man unreal uh changed my life it was a, it was one of the first kind of big American based, American Canadian based productions I'd done. And it was a real learning curve. I mean, I, it, to be on something of that scale and something that moved that quickly, that had that amount of uh, money supporting it to make something so grand. And also to come into something that was, um, had already made such a name for itself, um, was at first quite nerve wracking. I remember arriving in Canada feeling a little bit like, all right, here we go. But the people on that were fantastic. In fact, a few of them, the lovely Adam Demos, who plays um, the Australian guy whose name has August. Yes. yes. Uh, he was actually in London the last week and I hadn't seen him for a good two, three years. And it was just like we'd seen each other the day before. Yeah, those people were very kind. But yeah, that show, yeah. Unreal changed my life in a way that uh, I will always be grateful. You doubt you guys didn't have a dig off again when you met up? A dig off? Oh, we always have a dig off. Yeah, we like to, we always carry foldable uh, spades. 
and we like to dig. We love to dig. I'm a digger. I love to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you haven't yet seen the film, but you know, from what you from what you read, from what you saw while you were around filming, why should people take a chance on on Stranger in Our Bed? Well, I mean, genre-wise, it's one of my favourite genres to watch. I'm a big uh, I'm a big Roman Chandler fan. I love a kind of a thriller mystery, something that the audience have to try and can can help work out. We're not necessarily we're not spoon feeding them the uh, the plot we want them to be able to go yeah but this and that and hopefully that's going to happen and hopefully the payoff is um something that will make them excited and uh willing to tell somebody else to maybe give it a go but i'm a big fan of the genre anyway and i think you know who doesn't like a mystery exactly it's a perfect sort of like friday saturday night take away glass of wine sort of sit down and, and disappear into this oh, pour a lovely little bottle of coke de rhone or a, a, a small hair and a chuck on a stranger in your bed. I think you'd like it, yeah. Nice. And where can people see you next? What other projects have you got lined up? What am I allowed to talk about? We... I'm currently filming something, but I am not sure whether I'm allowed to talk about it yet. But it will be out relatively soon and then it would be quite obvious. Oh, I know, and, and the uh, the second series of State of Happiness uh, is on BBC quite soon, I think, later this month, I think, yeah. Cool. Are you hoping for for another season? You know, Norway is a, is a, a good place to visit. I've never been. Norway is, I fell in love with Norway with all of my heart and I hopefully will be able to live there for a bit longer soon. But it's, if you have a chance, Anybody watching this, go to Norway. It's bloody lovely. Cool. And on that note, I will uh, thank you so much for your time and I will uh, wish you the best of luck with the film. You're very kind. Have a lovely evening at the screening tonight and uh, enjoy yourself.